Alrighty, now that we have our actor created and set up, like so, what I want to do is make it so we can walk up to it, press E on it, and really just be able to destroy any part of it that we want. So we're going to have that function actually in the class itself. So if we head back over to our building.cpp, let's go to our .h, and create a public section. If it will let me go down. All right, that's one of the new annoying things. Anyways, we're going to make, make it a U function so we can easily call it. It's going to be a Blueprint callable, because I plan on calling most of these actually from Blueprint, as there's no real need to assign and set up everything from C++, as it's just a waste of time. And I have literally tens upon tens of videos doing the exact same thing. Anyways, the category is going to be, again, tutorial just for the sake of easy finding. We're going to do void destroy well, let's do destroy instance and what we want to take in is the point at which we want to destroy it so f factor uh, let's do hit point alrighty and create the definition so in here what we want to do is pretty much do the exact same thing we did in base so we go through we remove an instance However, we need to figure out which instance we have. So we did that in our third person character right here. So, you know, we go through do our line tree. So we get our instance component. We want to get an instance overlapping sphere at that hit point that we just passed in. So we're going to be doing that and doing our testing and removing it as such. So because we're going to end up having multiple foundation, or sorry, multiple instances, we're going to want to, in the end, have it set up to where we if we don't find one that we hit, we will then go through and just iterate through them all until we find one. And obviously if we find none, we do nothing. So for the time being, we only have the foundation uh, instance mesh. So we're gonna do foundation instance mesh. We search for sphere, we can do get instance overlapping sphere. We have our hit point. Then the radius, which honestly that can just be super tiny because the hit point should already have impacted. So really we'll just do one centimeter. And then we're already going to do sphere and world space. That's true by default, so I'm not worried about it. So we're just going to leave that there. So then this returns a T array of integers. So we're going to do a const T array of int 32s. And let's do it, well, let's name it hit indexes. All right, let's do our test. So if hit indexes is greater than zero, sorry, hit indexes dot, was it length? No, it's num. So if hit indexes dot num is greater than zero, meaning we actually did hit something, then what we want to do is we want to simply, well, remove it. So where we call remove index here, we just remove the instance. That's literally it. They set it up very simply, or to be very simple for us. So if that's the case, we do foundation instance mesh, remove instance, and what instance do we want to remove? Well, that's going to be hit indexes dot, or sorry, uh, and we want the first index. That's literally it. We just want to get the first index, so whichever point we actually hit. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this down and relaunch, and we can set this up to call it and give it a shot. All right, I went ahead and reopened the editor and just, you know, loaded everything back up. So we're going to close down base, and I just want building and the third-person character being open. So when we press E, all we're going to do is perform this line trace. So I'll, I guess I have to step through it, but basically we're just taking the follow camera, we're getting that location, so that's going to be our start location of where to perform the line trace. Then we want to get the camera's forward vector, and we multiply that by the distance of which we want the endpoint to be. So in my case, I want it to go 650 centimeters in front of the direction I'm looking. So we take that, and we add that to our world location, and that's going to be our endpoint. That's all. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our hit actor, and we want to cast it to our building. So we're going to cast to building. And if that is true, we want to remove 
the actually we named that under tutorial so we're going to call destroy instance and we want to pass in the hit point so that hit point is simply going to be the out hit location so the world location where the impact occurred so we can compile and save do a save all hit play and press e so that one got destroyed we try to get that top one missed it got the top one and got that last one so as you can see we know that that is working as intended so we now have our function here set up to destroy the instance and we are good to go alrighty so that's really gonna be it for this video there's not really much else to add I just want to go ahead and set up kind of the basics that we can follow or use as a reference for when we want to iterate through everything for destroying the instance. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos, such as this one, for as little as a dollar. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.